Yo, what is good guys? It is your boy OJ the Demon. I really love and appreciate every single last one of you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day today and if you're new, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for me, please. I really, really appreciate it. Now, today's video was actually recommended by one of you guys. It took me a while to get around to it. I'm sorry about that, but we're here now. And definitely get in the comments to let me know what rapper or case you want me to get into because we're just going to be talking about everything this year. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and SoundCloud, which I'm going to talk about more at the end also i'm gonna start live streaming once a week here on the channel with you guys you know late night chill vibes type let me know what nights i should start live streaming in the comments but uh yeah again i really love you guys i'm really trying to build something special you know like a nice little community and i know i say this a lot but thank you guys for helping me do that all right i'm gonna put a timestamp right here wow y'all really skipped the intro l supporters man i'm joking but let's talk about the loaded now the case of the loaded is actually pretty tragic very sad to say the least and he made really good music I know he passed away a while ago, but I definitely wanted to make this video because he definitely had a very interesting life. Lil Loaded's real name is Deshaun Robertson. He was born August 1st of 2000 in San Bernardino, California. Growing up, everything always wasn't good. He was born to a single mother and four of their siblings. And as we can imagine, raising five kids on your own is very difficult. His father was at the time locked up for reasons unknown. So without a father figure in his life, he looked up to his older brother. They're eight years apart and this is what Lil Loaded had to say about their relationship yeah my big brother about how to make money and everything else yeah, like that my big brother pretty much raised me Lotus spent the first 10 years of his life in California before he and his family moved to Dallas Texas so you grew up in Dallas since you were like in elementary school pretty much yeah so what was it like in Dallas as a as a 10 11 12 year old I guess you kind of grow up a little bit faster, I would say, in Dallas. Growing up a little bit faster, Little Loaded's brother basically taught him everything he knew about the streets. So of course, with him being on the streets, he grew up faster. In his teens, Loaded started associating himself with the Rollin' 60s Crip. The Rollin' 60s Crip is a California gang originally formed in Los Angeles in 1976. Although the gang is mostly known in California, the gang has since spread all across the United States. Little Loaded's hood in Dallas was called called the woods here he'd find a little hustle by selling weed you know as a way to get by because again everything wasn't the best financially for him and his family at the age of just 15 he received the news that his brother was gunned down and he didn't make it obviously with them being so close this really impacted loaded but he never forgot what his big brother taught him his brother taught him how to grind now with his brother and father gone he knew it was time for him to step up so he fell in deeper into the streets soon street life was more of a priority than school here in his experience the streets would get wicked he recalls being the target of multiple shootings since the age of 15 which is completely insane like imagine going on a drill and your intended op is a 15 year old this either means loaded was always in the wrong place at the wrong time or he was some type of young assassin really putting numbers up on the op scoreboard i mean what other reason to seek revenge on a 15 year old he must have seriously been wreaking havoc on the ops block there's no other explanation while in high school, the Lotus friends would adapt to call him Loaded because he'd always show up to practice Loaded. This is how he came up with the stage name Lil Loaded. Coming to practice high as fuck. Like, <laughs> coach looking at me knowing I'm Loaded. Oh, Everybody coach. just start calling me Lil Loaded. Okay. When he wasn't on the block, he took a liking to basketball and football. But obviously, his street life became overwhelming and led him down a path to where he had to drop out of school. Not knowing where to go in life from here, he stayed close to the street life. But the streets were only getting hotter. One day, Loaded was standing outside and multiple shots went off aiming directly at him. Loaded covered his hand to shield his face In result, a bullet was launched into his hand, merely saving him from a headshot. This specific shooting would change his whole mindset. Just the way I move, move smarter. So I don't get put in that situation again. You feel me? So like, yeah, it kind of made me more, more alert. You gotta pay attention to everything. He didn't leave the street life behind him because he knew it was the only way, but he also knew it was time for him to make a serious life for himself. So he started rapping seriously. After making a few songs, it was clear that rapping came easy to him. Loaded found a beat and recorded his most viral song in two takes. Loaded was destined for perfect timing because Loaded's music video editor, Laptop, was having trouble, so they had to postpone uploading the video. However, when they did, Tommy Craze, who was doing a video series at the time where he had 
rapping to stumble across the loaded video tommy craze found it within 54 minutes of it being uploaded and made it viral the same night this was life changing for a little loaded and this was the beginning of his career but unfortunately the story of little loaded goes downhill from here in october of 2020 little loaded was in dallas with his friend khalil walker they were outside of khalil's house two gunshots went off khalil's little sister who was inside the home heard the gunshots and rushed outside what she seen was unimaginable she saw her brother's lifeless body wounded on the ground and she saw little loaded and another friend standing over his body while waiting on the ambulance she took little loaded's phone and saw a video of him shooting her brother they rushed khalil to the hospital where he would pass away from his injuries now obviously this sparked a lot of questions we have ynw melly in jail for seemingly the same thing killing their friends however in the lotus case it is thought that it was an accident he admits to shooting his friend but it was an accident he claims he accidentally shot his friend while they were filming a music video 15 days later a arrest warrant was released loaded turned himself in and was held on a five hundred thousand dollar bond loaded sat in jail for a month until he was finally released out on bond until the trial date although it might have been a genuine accident loaded had a deal with the guilt of killing his friend alongside the murder charge he now faced obviously this could take a toll on anyone his life was literally changing for the worst and it took a toll on him he continued to drop music but the whole time inside his head he was fighting demons may 31st of 2021 was the last day lilotis spent on earth with us after being found by a family member lifeless with self-inflicted gunshot wounds at first many fans speculated that it was because of a recent breakup with his longtime girlfriend at the time although that's probably not the exact reason he already had a traumatic life and on top of that it was seemingly changing for the worst so i don't believe that he did it just because things didn't work out with his girlfriend no i believe that along with all the other traumatic things that he's been going through led to what happened now truly unfortunate r.i.p deshaun robertson aka Le loaded you will forever be missed let me know your favorite song by him in the comments it's been your boy oj the demon oh and yeah follow me on soundcloud i did start rapping at first i did start rapping as a joke i'm not gonna lie but now i low-key want to get good at it so support your boy on soundcloud now if you actually aren't into the music that's perfectly fine just stay tuned for the videos more videos and music on the way for you guys and my capture card did just come in so i'm gonna be going live here on the channel with you guys hella stuff on the way this year stay tuned i love you guys so much it has been your boy oj the demon don't forget to drop a like and subscribe i hope you guys are having a wonderful day all right i'm sorry for talking too much i'm out for real